Hey, it's Adam here and you're watching The Culture Hack. Where we're talking about how to create engaged workspaces that unlock the potential of your teams and drive your business forward in ways you've never seen. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome to a very exciting episode of The Culture Hack. I am super excited to have Shane Wenzel on with me, a man that needs no introduction in this town. Uh, welcome, Shane. Thanks so much for taking the time. Adam, thanks for having me. And of course, Shane, as we all know, he is the CEO and president of the Shane Home group of companies. And um, let's start with that. Tell us about Shane Homes. What's going on in, in your world, Shane? <laughs> well, lots is going on in our world. But uh, for, for those in your audience who don't know what the uh, Shane Homes group of companies is, we're a well, we started off as a, a home builder in 1979. Uh, my father and his business partner at the time, Barry Balsley, started the company. And, you know, the hope was, uh, you know, obviously to have an income. But uh, things grew rapidly from there, uh, coming out of the ashes of the 80s and the first Trudeau era. And, uh, and it's expanded substantially ever since. Uh, it's been, geez, what are we, 43 years now. 43 in our 44th year of business and now it's more than just a uh, home building company uh, it's uh, land development it includes multifamily. it includes investments as well so it's a very very large group of companies that it's grown into and I'm happy to be the guy in charge as uh, as my father slowly steps away from the business and only likes to pop in for a couple hours a day to you know, to rattle my chain and make sure that I'm doing things right. Right? As dads yeah. are so good at. <laughs> they are very, very good at that. Right? Well, you know, that's that's pretty exciting. 43 years. What a what a legacy. And to be building homes all over this town, you see your fingerprints kind of everywhere. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool to be able to just see the fruits of, of your labor and, and what you're actually bringing to, to the city. It's been interesting to see over these years, Adam. You know, when you when when you think back, I've been around for uh, for 32 years of it, 33 now. Uh, you know, you get to see how the city's grown from 800,000 people up to uh, you know over 1.3 million. So it's uh, it's been an interesting process, but it's been fun to watch at the same time. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's like a never-ending adventure, right? Mm -hmm. And. You know, in your travels, you've got a, a legacy company. It's grown into something more. You've got the multifamily, you've got the investment side, you've got a growing team. So keeping that engaged team and keeping Shane Holmes an exciting place to work through that evolution of the city, what does engagement mean to you as a result of all that? It's a good question. Uh, well, I mean, I guess with, uh, with staff engagement, it's being available, not only as their boss but a bit of a friend you know them uh them knowing that you you not only care about the business but them as well and uh and giving them the opportunity to kind of influence the policies and procedures and the actual culture around the group of companies is uh, is what keeps them involved but uh rightfully so i mean this is this is their company too and uh you know they want to have a they want to have a fun engaging uh place to come to yeah, so that's how you keep them involved, uh, you know, and I couldn't see it happening any other way. Right. Really, I think people want to be a part of something bigger than themselves and know they have a mm -hmm. voice. Right. Exactly. Okay. But it's not always easy. Um, are there any particular challenges or obstacles regarding this that, you're, that you've had to overcome or that you see as, um, you know, particularly um, unique? Well, there's always challenges, uh, you know, and especially when uh, when you look at uh, intergenerational companies like ourselves. I mean, obviously, my father ran the business in a different way, and it comes from a time where you're you're building up a group from the 1980s on. So there is a natural progression that you go through, and uh, and 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 when you change uh, when you change your uh, your management team and your and your leadership, uh, it takes buy-in from the top down. I mean, again, this isn't the year 2000 anymore, and things have changed a lot culturally, and mm -hmm. uh, and really what makes people uh, engaged at uh, at their workplace. So, you mentioned it earlier. They want to be a part of something meaningful, something that they help contribute to and create. And uh, you know, they don't just want to show up from nine to five, 
but having that buy-in from the top down uh you know is is so crucial to making uh making that cultural change or that cultural fit nowadays mm-hmm. you know so that was that was the biggest challenge to overcome and i'm happy to say that we've uh, we've done it just took a few years longer than i thought right <laughs> well I, you know it takes it takes a real commitment uh with change right you, you've got the the leadership part of one generation and then the new staff coming in part of another generation and exactly completely different way of communicating and looking at the world um so it takes commitment from both sides to try and meet in the middle and understand each other mm-hmm. so exactly on that note looking to the future what do you see as the future of engagement? We've got all these tools and things happening. We've got hybrid workforces. We've got the metaverse, which is somewhere over there. We've got AI that has all of a sudden stood up and said, hey, look at me. You know, what do you see for the future engagement? Do you have any ideas or kind of plans for the future? Yeah, it's another really good question. It's hard to predict, isn't it? Uh, mm-hmm. You know, and I mean, we've gone through lockdowns. Uh, and we've gone through uh, personal changes, you know, throughout all of that. I mean, I think everybody was affected that way uh, as they took away routine for for a couple of years and and had to reestablish what that is, you know. And that's uh, that's kind of a work life balance. But I guess at the Shane Holmes Group of Companies, I, you know, I guess I've always, I, I guess the best way I could use to describe it is I've always looked at this as kind of a living, breathing entity. I mean, my name's on the door. I'll. I'll help grow it to where it is, and uh, you know, like a child, it it kind of begins to take on a life of its own. I mean, in other words, uh, yeah, the people within begin to give it more purpose and help guide it in the future. I mean, as long as you allow them the voice, they can contribute to the culture of your company, and I think everybody would be surprised with the results if they just allowed that to happen naturally. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm still the leader, but you know, they're the ones that are going to drive it. So, what does it look like down the line? It looks like that, you know. It'll include those little things like uh, like AI. It'll include uh, other little cultural hacks like uh, you know having flexible days and you know having the opportunity to work from home when you're sick or the kids are sick or if you just need that uh, that day off, which we've all run into over time. Yeah. So we'll see how it progresses, but I'm uh, I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. I love it. I love how calmly confident. You are about this whole thing like yeah this stuff is happening but we we know our purpose mm-hmm. and we know we have good people and we'll just adapt so you know it's fine <laughs> we've been doing that for 43 plus years so right you know you can adapt to anything at this point well that's fantastic and i i can see with the with the calm leadership how that must sort of cascade itself down through the organization that confidence that you can take on the world mm-hmm. you can adjust you can adapt and it, it will be fine especially with a great team around you um that's that's pretty spectacular what what you've created there shane well thank you adam i appreciate that well thanks so much for coming on the show and giving us your 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 thoughts your sense of purpose and your vision and i hope that people listening can uh, make take some learnings from this and uh yeah i really appreciate it thanks so much shane adam thank you again take care hey thanks for watching the culture hack do you want to chat culture and engagement give us a call and come on the show